The Earth is the third planet from the Sun in the solar system. While the Earth orbits around the Sun once, it rotates around its axis about 365.25 times. This time period is one year. Our planet rotates, relative to the Sun, once every 24 hours. The Earth's only natural satellite is the Moon, which formed about 4.53 billion years ago. The Moon was formed not long after the formation of the planets, as a result of a collision between the young Earth and another ancient planet of about the size of Mars. During the collision, a large amount of material was ejected from the Earth's mantle, which started to orbit the Earth, forming a disk. The material of the disk soon collected into a spherical shape due to gravity, and the Moon was formed. At that time, it was about 20 times closer to the Earth than it is today. While orbiting the Sun, the Earth and the Moon orbit their common center of mass, located below the surface of the Earth. The Moon is in synchronous rotation around the Earth. Its axial rotation and orbital period are the same. Therefore, we always see the same side. Its orbital period is 27.32 days, while the lunar phase period, from full moon until the next full moon, is 29.53 days. The moon has very important effects on the Earth. Without the moon, many things would have happened differently. The moon has had a significant influence on evolution as well. Tides played a role in drawing life onto dry land from water. Our natural satellite also stabilized the Earth's axial tilt, creating the conditions for the climate to stay relatively constant. The major effect of tides on the Earth is the slowing of our planet's rotation and therefore a gradual increase in the length of the days. 400 million years ago, one year lasted about 400 days, and the length of one day was only 21.8 hours. The high tides caused by the Moon's gravity have an effect on the Moon as well. As a result, the Moon is slowly moving away from the Earth. Its orbit is expanding by 4 centimeters every year. The Moon is the fifth largest satellite in the solar system. It orbits the Earth at a distance of 384,000 kilometers. Its diameter is a quarter of the Earth's. Its mass is only 1 81st of that of the Earth. Therefore, its gravity is weaker. Its surface warms up to 130 degrees Celsius during the day, but due to the strong heat radiation, it cools down to minus 160 degrees Celsius at night. Its surface is composed mainly of volcanic rocks, covered by a thick layer of debris. We can see darker, lower-lying basins, so-called seas, and lighter, higher plateaus on the Moon. The basins, with the mountains and craters ringing them, were created by gigantic meteorite impacts. However, the volcanic rock layer and craters created by geological processes prove that there also used to be active volcanoes on the Moon. So far, the Moon is the only celestial body, apart from the Earth, where man has ever set foot. The internal structure of the Moon is similar to that of Earth. It is composed of a crust, a mantle, and a core. The solid crust is 20 to 60 kilometers thick and is made up of volcanic rock. The upper mantle is also solid, with a partly molten layer below. The mantle has a thickness of 1,200 kilometers. The outer core is about 300 to 350 kilometers thick and is composed of molten substances, while the inner core is solid and has a diameter of about 150 kilometers.